All right, guys, what's up, everyone? So I actually just had some awesome food with this really cool guy. He's um Filipino. Are you Filipino, right? Are you Filipino? Chinese. We're Chinese. Surprise. Wait, but you're Filipino. Wait. I go to Philippines a lot. You're not Filipino. No. Wait, wait. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Did I screw your vlog up? No, wait, wait, wait. You gotta leave in the vlog now. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, this is gonna stay in the vlog now. Exposed. So he's not Filipino, but he, he freaking looks like it. Yeah, uh, I so like it and I sound like it. This is Matt Chan. Uh, something you guys, if you don't know about him. How many subscribers do you have? Like, 350. 350K subs. So a little bit more than mine. Uh, <laughs> a little bit more subs than I do. Uh, but yeah, this guy's been killing it for a while. Um, if, if you guys don't know, when I actually started getting into the coding industry, Engineer Truth actually um, is one of the channels that I use a lot to get it. Better insight into coding, and if you don't know, Matt actually interviews a lot of people in the industry. You actually haven't uploaded yet, but you just met Ryan Carson. Met Ryan Carson from Team Treehouse, really cool guy.、Uh, you guys could find the interview on my channel soon.、Uh, but by the time you're watching this, is probably already up on Engineer Truth. Chris wanted me to talk about what it's what I've learned about the web developer industry, what I've learned. Over the years, I'm going to、uh, Dev Mountain as a coding boot camp,、uh, helping thousands of people become web developers like Chris. What I've learned though is that coding is way better than any type of engineering, because Chris and I were talking about it earlier. As a web developer, you can take your skills and go into any industry that you want, whether that's cannabis. Yoga.、Uh, we just bought some sh- them some high-end art of shaving cream. It doesn't matter. All these companies need a website, and because of that, you can take your web developer skills and go anywhere. Versus something like electrical engineering, which Chris was into before, and why he found my channel. What do you teach on your channel? Do you teach anything? React.、Uh, uh, I, I help people. I just encourage them. Yeah, I don't know any code. I just help motivate people. That's same here. <laughs> so,、uh, but whereas if you learn something like React or one of the languages that Chris recommends. React, yeah. You're gonna be able to take those skills and apply to several different industries, and I think that makes it so much more powerful. The pay is better as a web developer. The freedom and the culture. Chris was telling me that the culture at Entrepreneur Mag is amazing, which I yeah, mean, it's amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, you can see his day in the life video. And then, in addition, if you feel so inspired to you, you can even make your own software as a service. Exactly. So when you think of all the options available to you right now. Web developer makes the most sense if you're trying to look for the、uh, most practical, technical skill to learn. That's also not so crazy like da- data science, right? <laughs> Very in demand, but you、yeah. know a little bit harder to learn. Yeah. Web developer is like meets you in the middle. It's like pretty easy to learn, but at the same time offers you a really good career. So if you are studying web developer or、uh, web development, just know that getting the first job is going to be the hardest thing. But after you get that first job and it's real, you're getting paid. It's all over, and you never have to worry about getting a job again for the rest of your life because your skill is so in demand. Exactly. There you go. So in 2019, then,、uh, do people? Would you recommend people to become a, a developer in 2019? Oh, absolutely. I mean, should you learn JavaScript in 2019? What do you think? <laughs> Obviously, yes. But how often do you get hit up by recruiters? Um, almost every single day. So every single day, recruiters are hitting up Chris. Yeah. Asking if he wants a job, and、yeah. there's very few industries that are like that. Data science being one of them, machine learning being one of them. Anything in oh,、uh, anything. Not, I want to say anything in tech, but specifically、yeah. those three. Machine learning, data science, a web developer,、exactly. and software engineering. Yeah, you're gonna get hit yeah, up. You're,、exactly. gonna, you're gonna go hungry. So,、um, if you're out there and you want to learn these skills, go learn them. But don't ignore the marketing side of it, as in marketing yourself.、Mm. Well, Chris, what are some of the things you did to market yourself?、Um, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. <laughs> Social media. Did you do? Up, do you know how to upload to GitHub yet? Or no, you didn't know how to. I didn't know how to. I didn't actually、Ooh. learn how to do it until like a year and a half ago. No, GitHub is actually. It, <laughs> That's dude, huge. GitHub branches are, are yeah, confusing. Yeah, I watched. I watched a 45-minute video. I still don't understand <laughs> GitHub branches.、Uh, oh my. But、uh, I, I like like. You got to make a portfolio.、Yeah. I think the best platform to use is YouTube. That's number one. If、uh, you're you're too camera shy, you really can do it. You gotta at least have、um, a website that you build that is your portfolio.、Yeah. Uh, and then if if that's even too bad,、uh, just use WordPress. <laughs> Would well, you? It works. It does. It works.、You、Very can, good. You can get clients that way. No, you get、yeah. paid really well using yeah, WordPress. Yeah, you get really paid you know, really well. You know. Okay. Side tangent.、Uh-huh. Uh, a lot of most most entrepreneurs use WordPress. Oh yeah, because they、yeah. don't they don't want to focus on like、Or、the web space. WordPress is more is most common. 
Because you have the custom plugins. Custom too. plugins. Yeah, 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 um, that makes sense. And uh, they don't have to worry about. It's like in the between. Like Squarespace is like you, you can't customize anything. Yeah, a little yeah, bit, right? And WordPress you can customize quite a bit, and then you know web development you customize everything. So WordPress is the most commonly uh, used platform for entrepreneurs. Yeah. Uh, because it's so customizable. But again, that's one thing that you can learn as a web developer is PHP. Yeah. Which WordPress it's not too hard. It's not. Yeah, it's not too. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know. I'm a question. It's very similar yeah. to JavaScript. Oh, similar to JavaScript. Yeah, very similar to JavaScript. So yeah. obviously learning, if, if actually, and a lot of you ask me like, how can I become a freelance web developer? Uh, the number one thing you'd learn is WordPress PHP development. Because mm. that, is co that, is, that is the most common skill that uh, freelance, uh, that, that small companies need, and they're willing to hire freelancers for that for those roles. Yeah. When you're looking at like React, JavaScript, that's when you're kind of looking more at full-time jobs, generally speaking. So if you're out there, you want more of a freelance job, go for PHP, we're at WordPress. If you're looking for more in-house job, go React, JavaScript, mm -hmm. uh, MeanStack, Learn, yeah, LearnStack. Uh, LampStack. LampStack, yeah, 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 things like that. Those are more good for toward full-time yeah. jobs that pay better, that usually pay better than being a freelancer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree 110%, man. I mean, yeah, uh, Matt, he meets with a lot of people in the industry, coding, yeah. uh, non-coding, lecture engineer, whatever you call it, but um, you recommend coding to be the, one of the main ways to go? I would say number one. I would say for sure it's it's number one or number two yeah. uh, of skills that you got to know. Um, so if you had to decide uh, between a lot of skills that you want to learn, you cannot go wrong with learning how to code and learning how to do digital marketing, whether that's SEO, paid advertising, such as paid advertising on Google or, yeah. or Facebook. Those are the two most powerful things. And over and over and over again, you'll see those skills come up over and over again. So if you want to get paid really well and never have to worry about a job and work remotely, pick one of those two. Actually, um, because you're very, you're pretty much an entrepreneur. You you don't work for anyone. Yeah. Uh, you meet you know people like you met people like Dan Lok and all these other people. Um, and, and now let's say if you weren't an entrepreneur, uh, you weren't doing YouTube at all. Uh, what would coding be one of the top choices as a job you do for, to make a living? I think yeah. If I was an odd entrepreneur, I would be a coder. I, I we're, Chris and I were talking before we shot before we started rolling. Yeah. And I told him that I genuinely like coding. I think I find it to be a very fun activity. Yeah, he, he actually really does. I really do enjoy coding. It's <laughs> yeah. actually really fun. Yeah, yeah, it's just that with my current income, it, I pay, I get paid less, and um, you know, working at an office, that would, that'd be less freedom. So less mm -hmm. freedom and, and less pay, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But when I had to do the JavaScript for my ClickFunnels uh, sales page, it, it was the most fun I've, I've had in a long time. That's cool. So me yeah, writing yeah. this like really basic, like installing my Facebook Pixel and and making sure the tracking is correct and yeah. writing some basic, really, I mean, you, you guys would know it, some really basic sure? JavaScript, <laughs> uh, some really yeah. basic scripts. Uh, it was really fun. And yeah. to see it be so practical, as in like, I'm not even doing anything related to coding. I'm just trying to make a sales funnel. <laughs> But web developer, web web developer skills come in. You always want a job that you're continually learning. Mm -hmm. Things like electrical engineering and mechanical engineering, they tend to get very routine quickly. Yeah. Versus something like Chris is doing web development and looking things up every single day because he doesn't know how to do it. That's what makes the job fun. Yeah. And so if you didn't have that, it'd be a lot less fun. And that's what I experienced in mechanical engineering, where things got too routine. And so with web developer, you're always going to be learning something new, and that's that's the good part about it. That's not a bad part. Thanks, some legit advice, man. <laughs> yeah, there well, we I go. Mean, I mean, I don't know if I don't know why people wouldn't believe you. Man. Look, look at this car. Like, did you rent this car? No. You rented it, right? Wait, you can't it's, afford it's, this car. At least. Dang. Turoed. Oh, really? You turoed? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> exposed. Nice car. Oh, exposed. Yeah. I mean, I have a Nissan Versa. <laughs> cool, yeah. man. Good advice from the one and only. Matt Chan, yeah. So check him out. His, uh, his, I'll put his link to Instagram, YouTube, and we'll hopefully do more collabs. You're going to Philippines, right? Going to Philippines tonight. Jeez, man. So and you guys want to see my? And I'm not Filipino. Oh my gosh. Betrayed. <laughs> uh, so I thought you were Filipino, dude. The last five like years. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, so if you guys want to check out uh, kind of like behind the scenes of me, you guys go to check out my YouTube channel, Engineer Truth, or even better, check out my Instagram if you want to get some more behind the scenes shots. Nice. All right. See you guys later. Um, do you want to do the honors? Just like slapping the, 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 the lens? Just slap the lens. There you go. <laughs>